Hey, what is up my royal fam? It's Queen Debay, but you can call me Debbie and I am back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, it is a Black Friday haul because it was Black Friday yesterday. Well, today's Saturday, so yesterday Black Friday. I don't know what day I'm gonna post this, so I don't know what day Black Friday was for you, but you get what I mean. And I did do a bit of shopping and it wasn't like there was like amazing sales. So I know the States has some like insane sales that people are, really, really, people are literally willing to trample over each other for. I mean, they're a good sale, but I wasn't willing to like stab a bitch for like a shirt or some crazy thing like that. But I did get a few items. So I'm gonna be showing you everything that I got and I don't do hauls usually. I'll probably only do them like Black Friday, my birthday and maybe before summer or something like that but i don't do hauls often so if you want to watch some other videos that aren't beauty i have so many other videos on my channel you could watch but if you like hauls because i like them then keep watching because i'm going to show you everything that i bought yesterday or whatever day black friday was from whatever day you're watching this but yeah so let's get into my shopaholic definition explanation did that make any sense no do i make any sense no So I'm gonna be taking sips of my tea throughout this video because this tea is living my life. Also, is this mug not the representation of me? Like it says queen of everything. Like this mug was made for me and then I have this little man and you fill his pants with tea. So um, that's something cute. And I'm really obsessed with this little man because like he's like taking a bath in my tea. <laughs> oh my God, this is so great. Okay, so let's start off with the holy grail of shopping that I think every person in has ever shopped and that is Forever 21. They weren't having, I'm scared this tea's gonna fall off because I'm literally sitting on a little table, but um, they didn't. They weren't having that much sale, but they had this these two racks that were 50% off everything on those racks. So I got some stuff off of that rack. And I got three items in total. First, I got this shirt. It was literally 50% off. So it was like super cheap. And it's just like this stripered top and it has like lace type tie things down the center. And on me, I don't guess because my torso is longer, it goes like higher up on me. It doesn't like show like so much boobage, but like I think it's super nice. I didn't think it would look good on me, but then I put it on and I love it. And like it's, I'm just gonna say if like you were gonna buy this, buy it in a size smaller because this is literally small and I'm never small, but some reason it fit and it looked nicer so that's something gorgeous you should get if you like black friday shopping i don't know i don't know how to do a haul i'm not a beauty guru next item from Forever 21 the next item i got from Forever 21 is these late wash blue skinny jeans i don't know what um high rise skinny jeans oh, i wouldn't even notice they're high waisted Wow, I tried them on, I didn't realize they're high-waisted. But yeah, they're just light wash, high-waisted jeans. These weren't on sale, but I mean, like, high-waisted, light wash jeans is something like you always need. So I got these pair. Nothing special, really, just like blue jeans. So that's, wait, one more thing from Forever 21. <gasps> I almost knocked over the cup. Next thing, this headband thing. It's just like, has this little like beading sparkly thing in front of it and then you wear it like on your hair. I don't know. I thought, I thought it was cute. It wasn't on sale, but like I wanted it. I already mentioned a few days ago that I need something like this to make my ponytails look nicer. So I got one of those from Forever 21. And that is literally everything I got from Forever 21. Like I said, I didn't buy that much from there because I needed to not spend all my money in one place. And there wasn't much else that I really liked, but. Next door is Blue Notes. And if you're American watching this and then I say a certain brand or shop or store that like you've never heard of, then it's Canadian only store. I don't know if any of these stores are Canadian only, but 
I'm just saying that so if you know I'm not some obscure web, some obscure shop that doesn't exist. Who knows? They were having 40% off everything sale, so I got this flannel. And it's just like a cute little flannel. And the uh, flannels are super cute, and I've wanted a flannel. I see about everything here, but I literally did want all these things. But yeah, flannel, 40% off everything. It's basic, there's nothing really special about this flannel. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded like a dog was literally having a seizure. What? That dog is waiting until I speak. That dog. Okay, so that's what I got from Blue Notes. Then this dog is going to make me kill somebody. Let me just close my window. Next place was Sirens, which I don't know, again, if they have in the States, but they were having 40% of everything as well. So I just got a plain black tee because I used to have a plain black v-neck tee and then it disappeared. I think I gave it to one of my friends and then we were not friends anymore and so she stole it. <laughs> but I got a new one. It's like a thin, basic v-neck black tee and 40% of everything, so it's literally like $6. So I mean, like, that's pretty good. And like, this is an essential. I can remember a ton of things. I'm gonna use it, so $6. I think it's worth it. That's all I got from the sirens. Let me get some tea in me. Little man, put your legs in the water. Okay. Now, there's no more clothing left necessarily that I bought. It's mostly just like Lush, Losenza, and then David's tea and Ardeen's left, and then mostly accessory and like other stuff that isn't clothing. So, from Ardeen's, I got earmuffs. Because earmuffs. Love earmuffs. Um, I can't put them on right now, but like, you know, earmuffs are black. I love earmuffs. Every season I get a pair of earmuffs from Ardeen. They were also having 40% off everything, so. I literally got these both together for the price of one, so that was worth it. And these are super warm. And I hate wearing hats because they look disgusting in hats. So earmuffs for the length of it. And then I also got from there a pair of gloves because it's winter and Canada's cold. And they're insulated gloves. I don't know why I inserted my hand as if you could feel my hand in the glove, but they're super warm and have this fur on the edge, and I think they're nice. And they're like insulated up to what's the degrees? I think it was like negative 30 and your hands are still warm. So that's good Canadian polar bear winter. Next place is David's tea. And it's, if you don't like tea, you should like tea. Tea is the greatest thing ever. I absolutely love tea, like I'm obsessed with tea. I had David's tea for the first time last year around February and I've been obsessed ever since. So I got one thing, because their teas are not cheap. I got strawberry rhubarb parfait. Um, if you don't know tea, I'll just read the description so like if you don't know tea, you can understand better like, what this is. This is a deep red blend, tastes as juicy as a fresh picked berry with a tart rhubarb punch and a subtle hint of yogurt creaminess. Caffeine free, because me with caffeine, I literally go crazy. But um, yeah, um, it's really good. I think it's great in the morning. Like I feel way better when I drink tea in the morning and it's actually like sweet and there's like no sugar in it as far as I know, but it's so good. So strawberry rhubarb parfait is really good tea. That's all I got for David's tea. And that's actually what I'm literally drinking right now in this mug, like she's strawberry rhubarb parfait is what is in this mug. And I'm loving it. The next place is Licenza, which honestly for the longest time, I've been debating on whether or not Licenza is Canadian or if they have it in America. And I really don't know. So if you're making, tell me if you have Licenza in the States or not. They were having a 50% off everything in the store sale, but I'm gonna give you some, some advice, girl to girl or girl to guy, if you're buying your girlfriend under, like underwear or something like that. They normally do seven for 27, like seven underwear for, or panties, I don't care, whatever you call it, for $27. But when they do the 50% off sale, you're not saving anymore on the seven for 27 because you're literally paying almost the exact same or a little bit more because they're only 50% off now versus 7 for 27. So don't buy the 7 for 27 on 50% off everything sales. You're wasting money. But buy all the other panties that are like, I don't, I don't use that word, of the other underwear that's like the more expensive ones because then you're actually saving. I decided to put that out there so people aren't scammed. No hate, Lucenza, I love you. I'm gonna show my bras because like if there's a pedophile watching this and they're gonna like, I can like have it like a, to my bras. You can literally walk into Lucenza and look at them, so that's not like anything, but first bra, blue bra, 
people from my school are probably watching this and be like, my daddy, you're such a slut. Like, like fight me. Like, fight me, catch these hands. But this blue bra, it's a front closure. I usually don't get front closure, but I'm gonna try it out because like it seems good. And then the side has like this crossing design in the back lace. And it's super cute. And if you've never seen a front closure bra, because for a long time I didn't, they unhook like this. And then you bring them to the center of your boobies and then you push it down the hook and you close them. Like, and, it, and it makes push up work a lot better. Then, let me drop this floor. Then I got this bright pink bra because I don't have any bright pink bras. I mean, I can't really wear this under anything but black, but like it's gorgeous still. It's the same line as that one, the Obsession Bras, which is my favorite line at Lucenta. And it's lace in the back and it has its back closure. And then it has like these little lap design things at the front. And yeah, it's just a pink bra. It's also, it's kind of push up, but not really. That's the other bra from there. And then I got this bra, which literally made me so happy yesterday and I walked around smiling just because I bought this and it's the same line as that one the obsession bra because that's literally my favorite line at Atlas Sense of like I said you should get them if you want your boobs to look great it's this black like boussier thingy 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 and it has like crossing in front of it like it really crosses in the front like it has crosses so it crosses right over the front of your chest so this looks super nice like under v-necks and then it has like a little design and you can wear it instead of like wearing necklaces and stuff like that and it's really low crop so if you're like over i mean if it's sweating no because that would not be attractive not that i care i know i'm hot <laughs> um it's really like long crop so it's almost like a crop top so if you're like over the age of like 18 and can walk around in this and not be called a hoe I mean, you should be able to walk around whenever you want, under whenever, and not be called a hoe, but you know what I mean? Like, to be considered, like, age-appropriate. So, I mean, this, plus, like, a high-waisted skirt, going to, like, I don't know, a dinner, or, like, a dance, or, like, a club, or something, would be super nice, and I love this top, and it makes me so happy to have. And I got the matching underwear for it, but it literally looks the same as this, it's just lace, so I have no reason to show that. Then, last. But not least, Lush. And advice, if anyone, like, room just doesn't smell good and you want your room to smell better, buy stuff from Lush, sit it in your room for about a day, and your room will literally smell like Lush. And my room smells so good right now, because I love this in my room. I usually keep it in the bathroom, but my room smells, like, so good right now. So, I didn't get too much of Lush, but I got a great amount of stuff. So, prepare yourself for that as soon as I take a sip of my tea. Okay, so from Lush, first I got Dark Angels, which is a face scrub, and if you have bad skin or acne or anything like that, I highly suggest, this is gonna fall off, I highly suggest Dark Angels because once I started using it, my skin changed, and like, it has black sugar, charcoal, raw soul mud, cleanser exfoliates, absorbs excess oil and brightens complexions, the nemesis of blocked pores, and it's not, it's fresh and doesn't have any preservatives, so... This is really good to use on your skin because it literally like like gets everything out and your skin is so much smoother. After I used this for a week of, I don't know, a few months ago when I first tried it, my skin was so good for the longest amount of time. So Dark Angels, highly recommend it if you want your skin to look nicer. I'm not sponsored, I wish I was. Then from Lush also, I got a bubble bar. I got the Candy Mountain Bell Bar that I wanted since last year Christmas, but by the time I went to go buy it, it was sold out or just wasn't carrying it anymore because it wasn't Christmas. But this smells so good. It's a candy scented, and most of what I get from Lush is either citrus or candy scented because I hate flowery scents. So I got this candy one. It smells so good, it's a bubble bar. It's a bubble bar, so it lasts a lot longer. Like I probably use this for like six baths if I'm careful with it. But it smells so good, like I wish you could smell it. Like it smells like, cotton candy, raspberry, like just everything that's good about like sweet things, like I love it. Then the last thing I got from Lush is a bath bomb, I'm hoping not to get bath bomb in my tea, but it is a bath bomb, it is a, I forgot what it's called. Something ballistic, never ballistic. Something, something, something ballistic. I forgot. I'll leave it in the description for the Lush stuff if you want to get it. 
and I'll leave the description like where I got everything so if you wanted to go look for it on that website I won't leave the actual links I'll leave where I got them because I just have a feeling I won't be able to find these but this one is so smooth on the top but I think it has I think the top is like oils and stuff like that and the bottom is like the actual bath bomb part but this melts and it makes your skin it's supposed to make your skin like super like moisturized and like just like good skin and it's melting on my fingers so I'm gonna hold it that way and just supposed to give you your skin like a glow so I got that one it's like a honestly it reminds me of like a grapefruit sweet scent like sweeter than grapefruit I think it's a nice scent so that's the bath bomb I got I literally haven't had bath bomb in four months or something like that. Whew. What a haul. What a haul. We have greens, peas, potatoes, tomatoes. Okay, that is all that I bought yesterday on Black Friday. It wasn't like an extreme amount, but I think it's a good amount of stuff that like I actually needed and I'm actually gonna use. Like I said, I'm gonna leave um Hopefully, if I can find time to do this, I'll probably just do it on break at work and start typing it out or something. I'll leave where everything's from so that you can go on the websites yourself and try to find them and buy them if you wanted. And um, I didn't say how much they were on sale for. I didn't think it was that important. But since it was 50% off everything, or Dean, oh wait, no, I did mention it throughout the video. Somewhere in the video, I mentioned what they're on sale for. And just to be nice, I'll leave in the description. Not that it really matters now. But just for next year, so if you wanted to shop those places, you know what kind of sales they have. But um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that haul um i don't really have anything else to say because it was just a haul there's nothing there's nothing else to say so yeah keep smiling shining and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty bye